No serial killer is alike. Take Ted Bundy and Jeffrey Dahmer. They killed their victims in different ways. Ted Bundy went for young, pretty women and Jeffrey Dahmer went for a normally young man. He wanted to make them into zombies. And he would he would eat his victims. Ted Bundy would stay with his victims after death and he didn't eat. So, every serial killer is not the same. Take John Wayne Gacy. He would, he would do awful things. He would often get boys that needed a job. And that's how he got a lot of his victims. But no serial killer thinks alike. And not every serial killer comes from a bad home. We're made to think that and that's not true. Sometimes they have good homes. They just go a different path. And we're also... A lot of people think that you can identify a serial killer and you can't. None of us can. But luckily, we nobody has a good chance of meeting one. But the thing is, is that you can. And when you do, if you think they're all the same, then that is not good. We need to learn how to avoid it by knowing certain things, like knowing that they don't all come off as crazy and they're a lot of times like everybody. And that's just the truth. A lot of times they're, they come off as normal. Probably some weird things about some of them, but for the most part, you still wouldn't think serial killer. And no serial killer gets victims the same. They don't use the same motives. So you can't think that every serial killer is the same. And I've heard, like, certain, I've seen certain videos and stuff, and people make it like, oh, you can identify because of this and that, and that's just not true. I just, that's not true. They're all different. Take the toolbox killers. They used tools for their victims. So, no serial killer is the same and we need to know this but that is just all I wanted to say